السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس آف کلاس الیونتھ ہوپ یو آر فائیو ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس ایز یو نو وی ہیو کمپلیٹڈ اے پوئم فرام دا ٹیکسٹ ہارن بل ٹائٹل اٹ ایز چائلڈ ہڈ چائلڈ ہڈ اور ریٹن بائی مارکس نائٹن ان ناؤ ان ٹوڈیز کلاس وی ول ڈسکس اٹ از سینٹرل آئیڈیا پوائٹک ڈیوائسز childhood summary summary of this poem that is childhood and the questions of this poem now let us start dear student a central idea of childhood childhood is a stage of innocence in which the child believes others and loves unconditionally in this poem the poet Marks Natin thinks deeply over the question of his lost childhood and tries to identify some stages of his life when his thoughts and perceptions of the world changed. The poetic devices which have been used in this poem are the first and foremost literary device used in the poem is personification. the first and the foremost that means the most important device which has been used in this poem is that is personification the poet personifies childhood he thinks that it has left and gone somewhere else there is a ref- there is a refrain in the first and the last line of each sentence this was about the poetic device is used in the poem childhood now let me tell you the summary summary of the poem childhood dear students first of all the poet thinks and wonders about the end of his childhood he thinks why his child why his childhood come came to an end he wonders that Was it the day on which he was no longer 11 years of age? Another option could be the time when the author came to the realization that hell and heaven did not exist and one could not find them in geography. So this was the time when the author could make a distinction between reality and fantasy. The poet comes to the realization that they are imaginary places that have no existence in the world now once again the poet again repeats the same question about losing the child losing his childhood about uh, losing his childhood now the poet wonders that was it the time when he began to view the world with a different perception naturally when humans grow older their perception of the world changes however the poet seems to be deeply affected by it further more the poet came to the realization that adults are hypocrites this is because the adults are not what they appear or seem to be according to the author adults speech adults preach about about uh, adults preach but love about love but their behavior is about adults preach about love but their behavior is not so loving so the author believes that a double face nature is displayed by adults so was this so was this the time when his childhood go now moving on the point moving on the point is deliberates on the same question regarding the loss of his childhood Furthermore, the author asks himself about various possibilities. Moreover, the poet thinks about the day when he came to the realization that his mind was his own. This was the time when the poet <laughs> came to the realization that he can use his mind in any way he wants. Also, the poet realizes that his thoughts were his own and no one can affect them. One can say that that the poet became aware that he can produce his own thoughts and that he can free will 
he can had prevail. This was the time when the poet became aware of his own indi individuality and personality so that the day where his so that the day where his childhood became became lost. In the last stanza, the poet becomes remorseful about his lost childhood. It seems the it seems the poet has desired to live his childhood once more. He concludes that his childhood had vanished into a forgotten place from which it can never return. The poet cherishes his cherishes cherishes his now lost innocence. This is the type of innocence and can and one can only see in a baby's face. He only has sweet childhood memories which would fade away rather quickly. According to the poet, the innocence of childhood remains on until one is an infant. Now conclusion of the childhood summary, conclusion of this summary. The childhood summary discusses how the innocence of childhood gets lost as when grows when grows when uh, as when one grows older and becomes aware of the realities of life now questions from the these are the questions from the text question number first is identify the stanza that talks of each of the following individuality uh, rationalism and hypocrisy answer is the stanza that talk of each of the quality in question are given Individuality that means individuality that is third stanza, rationalism that is first stanza, and hypocrisy that is second stanza. Question number second What according to the poem is involved in the process of growing up? Answer according to the poem. What according to the poem is involving is involved in the process of growing up. According to the poem, the loss of childhood is involved in the process of grow growing in a process of growing up the loss is compensated by some gains which come with adolescence there are increase in there are increases there are increase in uh, understanding power of rationalizing and discrimination as well as a sense of individual individual and self confidence question number 3 what are the poets feelings towards childhood answer the poet regards childhood the poet regards childhood as an important stage in the process of growing up childhood is a period of make believe childhood really accepts whatever the elders whatever the elders say the poet does not feel any regret or sense of loss on losing his childhood now question 4 what which do you think are the most poetic lines why answer the following lines in the poem are the most poetic that is i went to i went to some forgotten place that season in infant's infant space that is all i know these lines beautify some of the process of growing some of growth and the disappearance of a particular stage of life these lines have a Figurative or metaphorical meaning, also the infants, also, also, the infants, in some space hides many things behind its similes. Perhaps the childhood lies hidden in some forgotten place by buried, by buried, deep inside a, by buried deep inside a child, childish consciousness. Now more questions. Question first. What did the speaker learn about the existence of heaven and hell? Answer. All the speakers grew to mature. He acquired a reasoning power. He realized that hell and heaven could not be found in geography, in geography book or atlas. Since they could not be located anywhere in the world map, he concluded that they do not exist. He would 
he would believe only what he could see the see and find question number second how did the speaker realize the hypocrisy of the adults answer the speaker realized a wild gulf between uh, between uh, between what adults appear to be and what they actually were in real life there was there was there were there was apparent contradiction between their words and deeds they talk of love and advise others to love but they never acted livingly now another question is question number 3 how did the realization of being the master of his own and own mind help it him answer the realization that he was the master of his own mind and could and could use it in any way he liked fill it with self confidence he could now think independently and need not repeat parrot like thoughts of others now there is long answer type question question is discuss the childhood childhood is an essential stage in the process of growing up but it can't go on forever discuss answer childhood answer is childhood is an important stage in the process of growing up of growing up of every person the human infant is totally dependent on others but during childhood he gains physical emotional and mental strength as the tiny baby grow bigger in size other facilities also develop the stage is as is an important landmark in which man grows but it can't go on forever forever childhood being a stage must given must given must give way to another stage it is followed by adolescence or elderly youth now all the facilities are fully developed the person requires reasoning power he his originalism helps him to decide truth or falsehood fact and fiction he requires he acquires a fine capability of analysis and discrimination now he can see through persons and things he belongs to understand the hypocrisy of adults he again he gains confidence and becomes an independent thinker now there are questions uh, again these are short type answer questions what question does the poet ask again and again in the poem answer is in the poem the poet is really confused he asks the question again and again when did my childhood go when did my childhood go question number second the poet has discussed two stages of life childhood and adulthood how do we differentiate one from another answer is childhood has been considered by poet as an blissful period in one's life whereas childhood child whereas child trust everyone adulthood is marked by rational and creative thoughts ability to receive and differentiate and learn new things in this stage of life one also learns to be double faced and crafty question number 3 what did the poet realize when he crosses the age of 11 years answer when the poet crossed the age of 11 years he realized that he had lost his childhood and has developed a mind of his own he also found out the non existence of hell and heaven question number 4 how did the poet conclude that hell and heaven were or imagine or imaginary places answer the poet concludes that hell and heaven are imaginary places because geography books contain the real names of places but there is no mention of places like hell or heaven in these books question number 5 how did the how did adults see sees how did elder seem seems to the poet when when he was a child answer as a child the poet considered all the adults as an op, uh, epitome of love and sincerity he believed that their love was true and they were ready to do anything for their loved ones question number 
bring out the hypocrisy that the adult exists exhibit with regard to love answer all the point as the point grew up he could make out the double standard standards followed by adults he realized that thought adults preached of love and talked of love their behavior waves were uh, was totally different 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 and full of manipulation they were they were all hypocrites uh, who believe who believe who behaved who behaved differently from the way from the way they talked so thank you very much aapka bahut bahut shukriya ajit bhai